Good evening students. Today I am going to teach you motion under gravity. The topic, today's topic is motion under gravity. This topic is essential to know where, how we can apply the equations of motion for a body which is moving under gravity. So before going into details, you must know what is gravity. Gravity means it's a force of attraction with which the earth is pulling the object towards it. So when a force is acting on an object, the object accelerates. That this concept you will know in your next chapter that is your laws of motion but here you need to know what is motion under gravity and what is its importance simply when you throw one object when you throw a cricket ball in the upper direction means in the vertical direction you are throwing that object with some initial speed and the ball is returning to the ground after a certain period of time this is a simple case. What is happening here? With some initial velocity you are throwing, it is reaching to a highest point, to a level. That is called the highest point of its path. Then from there it is coming back, backward directions. Got? So, suppose you take the example, one ball is here. You are throwing the ball to this point. Means the ball is moving from here to here to this point. Again, it is returning on the same path. Got? So, but to understand it clearly, so let us change the path. Actually, the ball is moving in, the, in this straight line path and again returning the same path. So, let us this point, you denote it here. And this point, denoted here, again the means this is the upward motion and this part is your downward motion. Let's say this is your ground. So at this point, u is in opposite direction because you are throwing it in the opposite direction. So u means your initial speed is in this direction. Gravity is pulling it. Means you see here, suppose at this point, let's say u is 20 meter per second or at any speed you have just thrown it upward. This is the point where the speed is zero means the ball is coming to a stop momentarily at this point means its v is zero means initial speed here is 20 meter per second and here it is zero meter per second means the speed is changing because of gravity the speed is changing because the gravity is slowing down this object as the speed is changing so the object has some acceleration and in this case if this ball is very close to the earth surface then the acceleration here it is called your free fall acceleration and the value is it is taken 9.8 meter per second square which is nearly 10 meter per second square because while calculating we can take it also nearly equal to 10 meter per second square. And this value is 9.8 meter per second square if the ball is very close to the earth surface. Now let us see the two situations means motion under gravity is important in this sense like when you are throwing one object or when, when you are dropping an object the motion is governed by the gravity and the acceleration produced in the object is called acceleration due to gravity. So the acceleration produced by the force of gravity on an object is called your acceleration due to gravity which is simply symbol we are taking it to be your small g. This is called acceleration, acceleration due to gravity. So this is otherwise called free fall acceleration means when an object is set free to 
accelerate under gravity that acceleration is called free fall acceleration got that the important point is here so let us come to this example here u is 0 here v is 0 at the highest point this is the topmost point the maximum height achieved by the object on returning path let us mark this point to be a this point to be b this point to be c means a and c are both the same points now from a to b you see the speed of the object is decreasing but while returning from b to c the speed gradually increases so in this case you see this the velocity's direction is an upward so from point a to b from point a to b velocity is in upward direction and acceleration is in downward direction because the speed is decreasing and velocity and acceleration are opposite from a to b now from b to c from b to c we can say the velocity is in downward direction acceleration is in downward direction means velocity and acceleration are in same direction so in this case a to b your acceleration is taken to be minus g in all the cases because acceleration is negative as velocity and acceleration are opposite from b to c in the downward path yes means towards the earth motion towards the earth motion of the object in this case acceleration is taken to be plus g so this is the concept you need to apply while solving a question clear so keep it in your mind so let us solve it. let us solve a question the question is a ball is thrown from the top of a tower with a speed thrown up you can write ball is thrown up from the top of a tower with a speed of 19.6 meter per second it reaches the ground after 6 second what is the height of the tower the question so let us solve this basing on this concept the question here is all of you just see there is a tower let's say it's a tower it is ground from the top of the tower a ball is thrown in upper direction like this got so the ball will go up to certain point here and from there it returns to the ground so according to the question this is the situation let us mark this point is a this point is b this point is c this point is d here your time starts t is equal to 0 and here your t is equal to 6 seconds the question is given in the question it is given so in the question is asking what is the height of the tower means this length we need to find out let's say it is h height of the tower you can find h so we can find this height of the tower h it is nothing but height b d height b d minus b c got so we can find your height we can find, find h is equal to how much it is b d minus b c or if you just remember since this point point a and point c are the same level means this height and this height they must be same 
and one key idea here on, on motion under gravity suppose at this point from here to here the object is taking t time or from here to here the object is taking let's say one second means from b to c the object will take exactly the same time you remember we can solve and show it to you so let us solve the question right so for the motion a to b we will see this in two parts from a to b and b to d so let us calculate first the distance a b because the distance a b and distance b c they are same got so instead of b c we can calculate distance a b so for motion for motion a to b the speed at a the speed at a is given which is 19.19.6 meter per second and the speed at b which is zero why right? because at this point because the ball is thrown up here the speed is maximum and at this point the ball is coming to a stop momentarily so its speed here it is zero so initial velocity given final velocity given and this is the upward journey so for the upward motion we know the acceleration here it is minus g you can take minus 9.8 meter per second square so initial velocity means we can say it is u given vb means final velocity given u given v given acceleration given so we can find the time span from here to here or we can uh, directly find the distance from here to here got it so we can find the distance here to here so we can find the distance like this here or let us find the time first then we will go for distance u v a and t including all these four variables means u v a and t which equation shall we take so that we can find out the time so the equation is will be your v is equal to u plus a t so your t is equal to v minus u by a so v is what 19 point you sorry v is your 0 u is your 19.6 a is equal to minus 9.8 means t is equal to 2 second so means he, if the time t is equal to 0 here at point b t is equal to 2 second now from b to d from b to d the total time taken will be how much it will be 4 seconds because the total time will be 6 seconds means if from here to here if it will be 2 seconds from here to here the total time will be 6 seconds but let us calculate this distance first a to b distance means s so we got see we know u we know a we know t and we need to find out s so using these four variables so what equation is needed to find out the value of s the equation is s is equal to simply ut plus half a t square so s is equal to u u is your 19.6 into t t is your 2 because we are considering the motion from a to b t is equal to 2 second means here you can simply write a b s a b 19.6 into 2 plus half a is how much minus 9.8 because the, in that motion acceleration is negative into t square t square is 2 square 4 so 2 which is 2 here so that is equal to you can say 2 to take common so which is 19.6 minus 9.8 so which is 9.8 into 2 so which is your 19.6 meter means s a b a to b means this length is 19.6 meter 
Now we can calculate this length from B to D. So let us consider the motion. Motion from B to D. For B to D, you see VB is equal to 0 there and VD, we do not know it. VB is equal to 0 means which is your U. And the time span from B to D, which is 6 minus 2, which is 4 seconds. Why it is so? Because from A to D, time is 6 seconds. And from A to B, time is 2 seconds. So from B to D means the total time minus this time, 2 seconds, will be your 4 seconds. So initial velocity given, time given, Vd final velocity is not given and acceleration. Acceleration is plus 9.8 meter per second square. Why? Because from B to D it is a downward journey means the object is approaching the ground. So in that case acceleration and velocity they are in the same direction. So the speed of the object is increasing that's why acceleration will be positive. We need to find out is B D. Cut. Now you see we have initial velocity, time, acceleration. So we need to find out S. This is not given. So U T A is means S we need to find out. So using this four, again this equation we need. S is equal to U T plus half A T square. Got it? So if you put that equation, S B D is equal to U ut plus half a t square this equation u a t means v v which is 0 here into t is 4 plus half a is 9.8 t square t is your 4 4 square means 16 so which is 0 plus which is 8 into this much so 8 into 9.8 but so which is so that also we can write means simply which is 4 into 19.6 the value because 2 2 into 4 so 2 into 9.8 19.6 this much meter now we need to find out we see your cd cd is equal to CD is your H which is VD minus BC VD minus BC or VD minus AB because BC is equal to AB VD minus BC is equal to AB this huh? so BD is how much BD we found means SBD there is distance which is 4 into 19.6 4 into 19.6 minus AB. AB we got 19.6. 19.6 means the value is 3 into 19.6. So, so the value if you multiply that so 58.8 meter means the height of the mount, height of the tower is 58.8 meter. So this is the process you need to approach while solving this question. See students, this height we can find if you choose another uh, method directly we can find. How? So let us know that process also. But So in that case, the convention what I have already told you acceleration positive negative that you need to that that you need to modify that convention you need to know in this way suppose this is a point means it refers to your uh, highest point where the ball is projected this side is positive and downside is negative whatever be the quantity upward directions means your if your displacement is measured in the uh, this direction it will be positive Downward direction is negative. 
this point is your A. So, for the entire motion, the final destination is D. So, from here to here, the displacement is in the downward direction. So, in this case, S, you need to put minus S. At the beginning, U, you must take plus U because it is in the upper direction. And for the acceleration, at the beginning, when it is thrown up, it is downward. So, you need to take minus G. And time, time has no direction, that is why time is T, T is equal to 6 seconds you need to take. Now, let us put the equation. We need to ask to find out the value of this H. For S is equal to, you can take it to be your minus H. Instead of S, you can take minus H. Now, I can apply this equation directly to find out because my data datas are initial speed, acceleration, time and S we need to find out. So, using this 4, I need to use this equation. S is equal to ut plus half a t square. So, you can substitute the values here. S, S is equal to minus h, which is equal to u. u is positive, which is 19.6. So, 19.6 into time is t. t is how much here? t is your 6 plus half. Acceleration is downward, which is minus g. Minus g means minus 9.8 into t square is 36. Got it? So now we can find out, you can take h here. h is equal to, take the minus here. So minus 19.6 into 6. This would be positive plus. So if you divide 2, so which is your 36 means 18. So 18 into 9.8 so that I can find here so 18 into 9.8 19.6 into this so 19.6 we can just simplify 19.6 is 2 into 9.8 so minus 2 into 9.8 into 6 plus 18 into 9.8 so 9.8 9.8 you can take common so 9.8 this value is how much? 6 into 2, 12, minus 12 plus 18. So, which is how much? So, 6. So, minus 6 into 9.8. So, so in the value is 8, 6 are 48, which is 58.8, 58.8 and the value is minus. So, if you multiply, this is 58.8 meter, but this is coming minus because your value h is equal to minus 58.8 meter means minus means from this point your displacement is in the downward direction. So, we can solve this equation directly to find out that is another process. Got it? Solve this second question. This is also one important question here. The question is a food packet is released from a helicopter which is rising steadily at 2 meter per second. After 2 seconds, what is the velocity of the packet? How far is it below the helicopter? So, see, though the question is, it appears to be very simple, but there is a technical analysis of the question. The question is, see, suppose one helicopter is here, it is sufficiently above the ground, Sufficiently, it is located at sufficiently high from the ground. So from here, the helicopter is rising up. The helicopter is rising up. Suppose, let us say this is the initial position of the helicopter. From here, the helicopter is rising up. So these are the different positions of the helicopter. Suppose at this moment, this moment, it is dropping. Food packet is released. It is releasing a food packet. The concept here, so when the food packet is released, just before that it is attached to the helicopter. Just before that the food packet is attached to the helicopter. Means if it would 
not have been released it must have a speed of 2 meter per second it means it must be rising with the helicopter got so when it gets detached at exactly at this moment your time starts t is equal to 0 so this is the helicopter this is the food packet for helicopter i have taken h for the food packet i took it took the symbol to be p exactly at this moment so let us understand the concept at this moment just an earlier instant here or we can take at some earlier instant here h p both are here both have a uh, initial speed u is equal to 2 meter per second both of this they have acceleration g because the helicopter is moving in a uniform motion in the upward direction at this moment the helicopter speed is remain 2 meter per second and its acceleration is zero because the, both of them they have detached and for the food packet its initial speed is it remain 2 meter per second but as it is detached from the helicopter now it is governed by gravity but whereas this helicopter is not governed by gravity there is a key fact here key points since this packet is governed by gravity and you see initial speed is in the upward direction so we will expect the motion of the food packet will be like this it will go with 2 meter per second up and comes to a stop and then it will returning to the ground just as the previous example when you are throwing a ball it is coming to the ground this now this uh, food packet part the motion of the food packet is like this so we need to find out after 2 second what is the velocity of the packet that we need to know so if initial speed is 2 meter per second after some time it will comes to a stop and from that point it will come to the downward direction got it now we can calculate means suppose this is the point of the food packet where it is released this is the point so in between that 2 second in between that 2 second the position of the helicopter could not have been here because the helicopter will move some point let's say this is the position of the helicopter now suppose after 2 second the food packet the position of the food packet is here it is let's say it is coming to this point as it is following this path let's say the position of the food packet is here means exactly it is below here so our question is what is the velocity of the food packet at this moment when the velocity is definitely downward and how far it is below the helicopter how far it is below the helicopter means this gap we need to find out so let's say this point is a this point is b and this point is c so we need to find out ab plus s simple logic but only case is here for the helicopter the motion is guided by the gravity so here, at the beginning when time starts here when the time starts this point you see the velocity is in upward direction and acceleration is in downward direction because gravity starts playing a role and the motion is in the upward direction so we can find out simply the case you can apply that equation v is equal to u plus at or we can take s is equal to ut plus half at square these two equations is sufficient to solve that question why because initial velocity is given acceleration is given time is given got and distance also to find out the distance this two as this three data is given to us so these two equations are sufficient first find out what is the velocity of the packet so let us put this equation with proper sign so you take the, this convention means upward motion is positive downward motion is negative and the upward value whatever value given in this direction you will take positive in this direction is negative clear so we need to find out what is v v is equal to u initially the food packet is thrown up 
so it's u is positive so u is in this case u is plus 2 meter per second acceleration is downward which is minus let us take it to be 10 to care for simplicity let us take it to be 10 meter per second square time time is your 2 second so it's given so according to our equation v is equal to u u is how much 2 plus a is your minus 10 into t is equal to u plus a t this equation so which is 2 minus t is your 2 seconds 10 into 2 20 so minus 20 plus 2 so so which is your minus 18 meter per second minus 18 meter per second means what the velocity at this point is in the downward direction because this negative sign is showing from the point in the downward direction so first answer is over v is equal to this much now let us calculate this distance first means what is the distance moved by the food packet to calculate that distance we need to use this equation again s is equal to ut plus half at square here u u is in the upper direction u is positive upper direction positive plus 2 meter per second acceleration which is downward minus 10 meter per second square and time is 2 second so s is equal to ut u is your 2 into t t is again 2 plus half into minus 10 into t square means 4 so you can calculate so which is 2 into 2 4 minus 10 t so which is minus 16 meter means from this point the displacement is in downward direction and the distance covered which is 16 meter from here to here the distance is your 16 meter minus 16 means from this point from the point of releasing the displacement is in the downward direction what but in the question it is given how far is it below the helicopter means during that two second the helicopter would not have been here it will shift it to some point I mean, because it is moving it is not uh, at a particular position so we need to calculate this distance let's say the distance is s h s h see the helicopter is moving at a constant speed 2 meter per second means in one second the helicopter is moving 2 meter so in 2 second so s h is how much simply u into t because its acceleration is 0 so in this equation this part won't be there simply s is equal to u t so which is 2 into t is your 2 which is 4 meter means this distance s is equal to 16 meter s h is your is your 4 meter now the total gap between a and c means s a c a c is equal to s plus s h which is equal to 16 plus 4 which is 20 meter don't confuse this negative sign here because this negative sign is for a displacement but the distance means mod of s this magnitude is your 16 meter so the gap is 4 plus 16 which is 20 meter so this is a very important question students try to understand it carefully thank you